Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Ascension. This is Matthew. Today I want to show you guys some different documentaries that I think are really, really important for us to educate ourselves with and that everyone should really, really see. So what I did was I compiled the list of my personal top five. They're not the only ones that are out there that are really educational, but I think these are the ones that are the most eye-opening, at least that I've found for myself and others that I've showed them to. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the top five. Number one on my list is a documentary called Food, Inc. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the description of this video links to where you can find all these different documentaries. You can watch them at home, online, buy the DVDs. Um, but Food Inc. does a really, really nice job of showing us where our food is truly coming from in this day and age. It's no longer what it used to be 20, 40, 50, even 100 years ago. It's a lot different because the demand for meat, dairy, and other kinds of products are so much different and so much in higher quantities. Um, so it does a really good job of showing you that it doesn't come from a farm, even though a lot of different products have like little cute farms and farmers on the products. They come from these horrible, huge conglomerate industries. There's only a handful of them anymore. There's really not so many options like we're led to believe in a grocery store. They're all owned by just a few corporations. So it does a really, really nice job of kind of going and showing you what the different corporations are like what some of the industry conditions are like, and it's not a documentary where it's going to show you like all this gory stuff. It's one that really, really educates you, and it's not one that's going to kind of make you feel inclined to have to change your diet or have to change your lifestyle. Just to kind of upgrade your experience to things that are better for you. Um, it also does a really good job of showing the corruptness of our food regulatory agencies, like the FDA, the USDA, and how they're really not looking out for us. They don't have our backs like everyone thinks they do. So I find this one to be the most eye-opening and it really, really lets you think for yourself and ask questions and just really want to do better for yourself. So if anything that you take away from this video, go watch Food, Inc. It's available on Netflix for free. You can stream it. And even if you've seen it, let's just say, oh, I've seen that one. I've seen it like years ago. Go ahead and re-watch it. This should be something that's always on our minds. It's not something that's okay. And we vote with our dollar every single day when we go to the grocery store. So don't support the huge conglomerate industries if you can. And this will do a really good job of kind of outlining what the problems are with the food industry so you know how to avoid them. So let me know what you guys think when you watch Food Inc. Moving on to number two. Okay, so number two is a documentary called Cowspiracy, The Sustainability Secret. Now, I really had a hard time deciding if I wanted this to be the number one or the number two, um, but I think Food Inc. is more readily available and easier to access because Cowspiracy, you do have to pay to watch. Um, but I figure if you're going to go out and watch movies like Jurassic Park and all these ones that are coming out, then you can also have a movie night at home and really educate and learn something. Um, so Cowspiracy, what this one really goes into is the animal agriculture business. So what they do is they show you the impact that animal agriculture has on our environment and on the planet. And it's astounding. Um, the person that is in the video, his name is Kip, and he kind of travels around to different places in the country. And he speaks with, you know, different environmental agencies that are out there advocating for a better planet. But none of these agencies will talk about animal agriculture. None of these agencies will actually admit that it's a problem. And it's just really, really crazy to see the runaround that he gets. And the statistics in this video, in this film, are insane. I'm going to go ahead and let you know what a few of them are. But you're going to see so many more of them throughout the film. So I actually have a little list of some of these here because I haven't memorized them quite yet. But they're pretty shocking. Um, it actually takes 1,000 gallons of water to produce one gallon of cow's milk. I mean, there are people out there going thirsty that have no access to clean water, yet here we are using a thousand gallons of water in total to make one gallon of milk. How greedy is that? I mean, it makes no sense because cow secretions don't belong in our body. That's a video for another time. But I mean, a thousand gallons of water, that's insane to me. About 51% of all the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that are helping to pollute the environment and make the uh, planet warmer are 51% made up from animal agriculture. So you figure that's going to be all the poop and gross crap that's kind of flowing out from the factory farms into the oceans, into the atmosphere. And because there's so much animal agriculture taking place in our world, the numbers are astronomical. Another really good fact they point out in there is that just a quarter pound hamburger takes 660 gallons of water to produce. 
That is incredible. Just one little lousy hamburger, 660 gallons of water. That is just bizarre to me. And that's like the equivalent of like showering for two months straight. Yet all these environmental industries want to tell you to get like low flow shower heads, low flow faucets, like don't water your lawn so much. I mean, when all you have to do is just not eat meat or dairy and you're saving astronomical amounts of water. So this film does a really, really good job of outlining the impact that it has on the planet. Okay, so number three is a film called Earthling. Now what this one's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and show you the different abuses that animals on our planet are going through. Whether it be animals for food, animals for entertainment, animals for medical research, even pets that we own. The abuse that these animals are going through. And this one does a really, really, really wonderful job. Um, they go on an inside, um, like hidden camera adventure into different slaughterhouses. You're going to see the real deal of what goes on behind closed walls, closed doors that they don't want you to know about. Um, it's just not an innocent little saran wrapped package of meat that you buy at the grocery store. There's so much more that goes on to it. So I highly, highly, highly advise if you think that you still need to continue eating meat, at least watch and learn where it's coming from, what the animals are going through. And you let me know after watching that if you still think it's a good idea. I don't think you'll agree anymore. Okay, so number four on my list is a film called The Beautiful Truth. And this one is a really, really wonderful documentary. Um, there's a 15-year-old boy named Garrett, and he's noticing all around that there's so much toxicity in humans, there's so many different diseases and degenerative illnesses that everyone's suffering from these days. So what he wants to do is set on a quest to see if there's actually any hope for us, if this is something that's just gonna take us over. So what he does is he goes on an adventure throughout the country speaking with different people, and we learn in this documentary all about the dangers of things like fluoride, MSG, which is monosodium glutamate, a neurotoxin. Um, also, um, we're gonna talk about GMOs in this film, and they're gonna talk about natural alternatives and how the big industries, like the medical industries and pharmaceutical companies, really, really try to squash people that have success with alternative therapies and plant medicines. So it does a really, really nice job of outlining that, and the video kind of ends on a good note where it's like, yes, there is hope, because there are things that work out there, it's just a matter of waking up to them and realizing their power. Okay, so the fifth and final one on my list of top five documentaries is called The Secret. And this one is also available to stream on Netflix. What this one does, it's actually nothing really considered um, as far as health, but it kind of goes into just our general well-being as people. So what The Secret does really well is it kind of trains you to think more positively and to think more abundantly. So it goes into a topic called the law of attraction, where thoughts actually become things. There's actually been quantum physics that have proved that our thoughts really generate outwards and create something. So what it means is something that you're thinking, you're attracting into your life. And it's just such a brilliant concept. Um, I first seen this one a few years ago. I think my old roommate back in Buffalo watched it um, on Netflix, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds really cool. So I went and rewatched it myself all the way through, and I was just completely stunned by what I learned in this uh, documentary. I think the information here is so useful and so uncommon for some reason. I've had such tremendous, tremendous results using The Secret, which is basically just using the law of attraction and kind of monitoring the way that you think kind of retraining yourself to think more positively and optimistically, and it's incredible what it can do for you. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you see this one as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've seen any of these documentaries, let me know below what you thought of them. Or if you have any other ideas or suggestions, just documentaries that we should all watch, let me know what they are. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to post a video at least once a week. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.